Roots Tech, 2017, outtakes from President and Sister Nelson's Discovery Day presentation. President and Sister Nelson talk about the major role that family history plays in missionary work. Now there's something else we should talk about. The major role that family history can play in missionary work. I love what you teach the missionaries when we speak to them around the world. I like to tell them that if I were a missionary today, my two best friends in the ward or branch in which I would be serving would be the ward mission leader and the ward temple and family history consultant. People have an inborn desire to know something about their ancestors. That becomes a natural opportunity for our missionaries. As the missionaries learn to love the people they are contacting, missionaries will naturally ask about their families. Are your parents living? What about your grandparents? Are they living? Do you know your four grandparents? Conversations flow easily when those who are drawn to speak with the missionaries are invited to talk, to talk about the people that they love. At that point, it can be very natural for the missionaries to ask, do you know any of your great-grandparents? Do you know their names? The probability is that they will not know the names of all eight of their great-grandparents. Then the missionaries can make this suggestion. I have a friend at our church who can help us. If we could find the names of some, or maybe even all of your great-grandparents, would it be worth a couple of hours of your time to find out who your great-grandparents are? That friend at church, of course, is the Ward Temple and Family History Consultant. You know, Wendy, I think that when you often tell the missionary, what you often tell the missionaries is equally important. You broaden their understanding of missionary work. You offer them an eternal perspective. Well, I think it can be comforting for them to know that they are never alone when they are finding and teaching those who are receptive to the truths of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. President George Q. Cannon, who was counselor to four presidents of the church, taught that in these latter days, those who are joining the church are joining quite precisely because their ancestors have been praying for one of their posterity to join the church so that they, the ancestors, can receive their essential ordinances by proxy. That's when I invite the missionaries to consider that one of their most effective prayers might be, please lead us to those whose ancestors have already received the gospel on the other side of the veil and who are desperate to receive their ordinances. I also invite the missionaries to picture in their mind's eye when they're teaching, their investigators, at least 100 more people in the room. Those 100 people are, of course, the ancestors of the investigators and the ancestors of the missionaries. That's always quite a powerful moment. It really is. <laughs>